welcome to Seto Sam and Ed's Total Football. Let's get straight into it. We're going to get straight into our next Good bit. Good. Former Socceroo, yeah. Socceroo great, current coach of the Melbourne Victory. Hello, Kevin Musket. Yeah. <laughs> The soccer is. Are you still? Is there still a bit of tingle in there? Look, if I'm if I'm honest, in the maybe in the last few years, yeah. it uh, you know it wasn't as passionate mm. uh, as maybe I should be. But uh, in recent times, I'm I'm truly excited about uh, you know what Andrew's trying to do. It's not right. because. And I've worked with him, and uh, you know I'm obviously friends with him. But uh, I can honestly see we're we're heading in the right direction. Okay. And when mm. you and are you when victory players get called up, are you happy or like no God? No, look, <laughs> I'm happy, then I go, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, the way we look at things, you know, we, we're fully aware of, uh, you know, that at the start of the season. And, uh, we bring players in and, uh, you know, we try and develop them. And, and, you know, it's a bit of reward as well for the, yeah. for the staff and, the, and obviously the players that get selected, their teammates, yeah. you know, that are performing so well. Uh, and we've had a number of players, you know, throughout the journey, yeah. youngsters, you know, uh, more importantly. So yeah. uh, we're happy for them, but then you just, you know, hope they come back. Yeah, you know, one piece. Fit and healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin. Oh, God. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for coming on, finally coming on to the show to face the music. Oh. <laughs> because, you, you know, you say you've, you thought you'd been on, but you haven't been on. My apologies. I thought I'd have been on before, yeah, so well, I'm here now. Oh, you are, and yeah. you just get ready. <laughs> <laughs> First question. I thought, by the way, before you start, I thought it'd be a good idea to come on because Big Dukes was on and haven't yeah, seen him Dukes. for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you started reading all his accomplish accomplishments and I thought, yeah. oh, jeez, what are they going to say about mine compared to his? But uh, I'm happy to be here, mate. You did very well. You played, you yeah. played more games for South Melbourne yeah. than he did. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> come on, Hatchet Man, get no, into no, it. One, one thing. Interrupt me again and it's all over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Couple of questions. What's your favourite colour? Oh. <laughs> Red. Red. Yeah, they're appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought play, I thought I'd play you in. Yeah, no, 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 I, I asked this. That was a I, nice one too then. Yeah, exactly. Like, let, let it off gently. Come on, Pang. No, no, what, what's the toughest thing about coaching? Because I, I argued a couple of weeks ago that you'd made a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. These two, by the way, didn't agree, but that's fine. <laughs> you made a tr smooth transition from playing to managing. What is the, mm. What's the toughest thing? Oh, look, uh, you know, over the period of time, the, the, the biggest thing I've found, you know, last season, uh, taking over when I did, and it happened very, very yeah. quickly, didn't really have too much time to think about it. In the, in the off-season, uh, you know, going away, you know, bringing players into the football club and uh, establishing, you know, how we're going to play. But the hardest thing uh, definitely is uh, implementing that, you know, making them sure the players yeah. are fully aware of what's going on. Uh, and so, therefore, the whole preparation. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> The hardest thing is keeping control of your staff. Oh. And I'll give you the example of a couple of weeks ago, Guy Finkler scored a cracking goal, right? Yeah. Now, are you comfortable, if we can see that, are you comfortable with your assistant celebrating with you like this? <laughs> JP's been working very hard with uh, <laughs> Dean uh, oh, okay. and he took that out of the credit. All right, my question is about managerial language. Mm. Managerial yeah, speak, yeah, obviously, yeah. on the field is different than when you get there. <laughs> so we're trying to, I'm trying, I can watch the game and I'm watching the coaches and I'm trying to work out the tactics and I know I'm very smart and I don't know what's going on. So I'm glad you got you here. If you could please just translate a little bit of this cryptic managerial speak. What are you trying to say to Gombau here? <laughs> <laughs> Spanish has improved. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said, well played, sir. I think he was saying. Speaking in riddles. I think he was saying. Um, Santo, your turn. I just, I, you know, <laughs> feel free, boys. Just keep <laughs> <laughs> This is good for I can't wait to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I am going 
going to ask you a question. I am going to ask you a question. You know, there's, there have been a few coaches come and go in your time at, at Melbourne Victory, right? Yeah. Now, now, okay, so we are often... Uh, Jim Magilton is the butt of a joke that we often make. Now, obviously, he's now at Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Did you know that? Yep. Yeah, no. now, oh, okay. do, do you know... <laughs> look, we won't make a judgement on what happened there, but do you know very early on whether someone is the right fit or not the right fit? I mean, right from the start, you can be frank, come on. I mean, there's a statute of limitations now, you can say it. Was it right from the start you thought, uh-oh, this is not qu quite going to be right? It's a cult thing, I guess. No, I didn't feel that, I'll no. be honest, I didn't feel that. He came into the football club in, you know, a very difficult time. Mm. And, yeah. uh, and I'm trying to answer this seriously, but no, as soon no, as no. I finish, you're going to... No, 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 um, and then, you know, the whole situation with Andrew Rose. So, right. so yeah. I don't think, uh, yeah. you know, he was put in a difficult situation. What's your ideal managerial job? Like, let's just say, you know, Crystal Ball, you can do any managerial job in the world you want. Easy. Down, what, what, yes, what is it? Melbourne Victory. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> managerial career is there anyone not now but is there anything oh geez I, I you know you gotta be ambitious you know what do you feel I am ambitious but uh, look I'm, I'm realistic as well you know of uh, you know it's a, a big job I've got at the moment yeah. and uh, to get anywhere further down the track I've got to be successful and do well here so like I'm that. not looking any further excellent I've right. got a serious question yeah. how did you uh... <laughs> <laughs> the giggling not what encourages you <laughs> <laughs> Favourite colour, I'm happy that, you know, I, I got that out. But the West Sydney Wanderers' recent success, mm -hmm. how did... Like, I don't think I've ever heard you talk about it. How did you kind of take that in and what were your thoughts yeah. on it? Look, uh, first of all, Pop is a very good uh, friend of mine. I've known him for a number of years. And I don't think uh, we fully understand how difficult uh, um, it is to do what they've done. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, I couldn't be happier for him. And it was... Uh, when we were obviously out, you know, I wanted them to go all the way. And, and fortunately for them, they Helps did. everyone, doesn't it? Without it doubt, it's it's and it's a tough tournament. Of course, uh, it's very difficult. Ke Kevin, there's one thing that I uh, that I really admire. I, I, I love family. You love family. I, I, I noticed that the kids have been out on the ground uh, a few times. <laughs> yes. uh, there they are. Isn't, I, I think that that is truly nice. just a beautiful thing uh, after the game. In fact, they've even uh, accompanied you to the uh, uh, press conferences oh, the press conference. after the game. That's cute. And uh, what we thought we would do, well, if we can just freeze that there, <laughs> we just thought it would be nice to present you with our hand-painted family portrait. <laughs> this, is so so, this, has been this has been created by our, our own amateur artist, Sam Pang. That's <laughs> and isn't it beautiful? Like, so the, the headphones, like, follow you around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Kevin, yeah. I do a night class, and um, <laughs> they always say, hey, you know, the big three that the hardest thing to yeah. paint mm -hmm. are hands, um, uh, heads, and headphones. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I quite You've nailed done a great, great, great job. Hey, guys, we got to get. We do have to let Muskie go. So we got to press on. Because I've got to go. Thanks, Celia. I'm a big victim, and I was there, you know, ten years ago at. Olympic Park. Correct. He gave Andrew a hug. And I just wanted to thank you for coming in sincerely. So nice. And also, just a little, you know, a little trip down memory lane yeah. and just make you feel at home and say, Kevin Musket, thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> This has been a production of Fox Sports.